Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to understand the difference between fail-fast and fail-safe iterators in Java. These are two important concepts when you are working with collections, especially during iteration. They behave differently when a collection is modified while it's being traversed. Let's begin. Starting with how each iterator handles modification during iteration. Fail-fast iterators do not allow changes to the collection while you are iterating over it. If any thread modifies the structure of the collection, like adding or removing elements after the iterator is created, it immediately results in an error. On the other hand, fail-safe iterators allow the collection to be modified during iteration. You can safely update or delete elements while looping, and the iterator won't throw an exception. Fail-fast iterators throw a runtime exception called concurrent modification exception. This happens when the collection is modified structurally while iterating. It's Java's way of telling you, this collection was changed in the middle of iteration, which might lead to inconsistent results. In contrast, failsafe iterators don't throw any exceptions, even if the collection is modified during iteration. They are built to work safely in such conditions by isolating the iterator from changes happening in the original collection. Fail-fast iterators directly access the original collection while iterating. They work on the actual structure, which is why any changes to that structure cause immediate failure. But fail-safe iterators behave differently. They work on a clone or a shallow copy of the original collection. So even if the original collection changes during iteration, the iterator continues working on its own safe copy without being affected by those changes. Fail-fast iterators don't require extra memory. Since they operate directly on the collection, there's no duplication involved. This keeps them light and fast, but also fragile when changes occur. Fail-safe iterators, on the other hand, do need additional memory. Because they create a snapshot or copy of the original data to work with, they consume extra resources. This trade-off gives you more stability during concurrent modifications but comes with a slight performance cost. Let's now talk about real-world examples. Fail-fast iterators are returned by classes like ArrayList, Vector, and HashMap. When you use their iterators, modifying the collection during a loop without using proper synchronization will result in a concurrent modification exception. Fail-safe iterators are returned by concurrent HashMap. You can safely update or remove elements from this map while using its iterator, and it will continue functioning without any error. This is especially helpful in multi-threaded environments where changes might happen at any time. So to summarize, fail-fast iterators are faster, use less memory, and give you immediate feedback when things go wrong. But they cannot tolerate concurrent modification. They work directly on the collection and are best used in single-threaded or controlled environments. Fail-safe iterators are safer and more stable when working with collections that are being updated while they are being read. They handle concurrent changes gracefully by using a copy of the collection. This makes them ideal for multi-threaded applications, especially when using classes like concurrent hash map. Understanding this difference is key to writing safe and predictable Java code, especially when working with collections under concurrent access. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit like and subscribe. Until next time, keep learning and keep building.